GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Govi, a vernacular edutech brand, skilling everyone everywhere. I am loving this <laughs> adda with the fans. <laughs> we just wanted samosa and chai. Yeah. If Karan uh, comes back to you with the sequel of Kang, are you gonna do it? Karan asked me that, Rani, can't you dub? So I'm like, uh, of course I can dub. So he said, then why are they dubbing a voice in Gulam? I said, I don't know. Maybe they don't like my voice. So he said, but I love your voice. Uh, you'll dub for my movie. I said, yeah. So I remember Amrit telling me that, Rani, you know what, your favorite actress is Sri Devi and her voice was dubbed in so many films. It doesn't matter. You know, we have to do what's best for a film. And he was made to uh, become the bad cop at that point of time. I've worked in this industry for so many years. So if it had to be an industry person, it could not have been anybody but Adi. Because he is the person who I truly, truly respect as a person. My dad had a full life. And I'm happy that he met Adira. Uh, he saw Adira and he went. So it's important that the world sees you as one, you know. And uh, differences happen everywhere. But if there is no reason for differences, then why should the differences happen? So in this case, it was exactly that. Yeah, of course it is difficult because uh, I tried for a second baby for almost seven years. Now my daughter is eight years and immediately after she was one, one and a half, I tried for my second and I kept trying and I finally got pregnant and then I lost the baby. Happy birthday to you. What do I say about this person that I'm going to introduce? 2009 was the year when I met her for the first time in Calcutta as a young reporter when she came to promote Dil Bole Harippa. Amidst the sea of really senior journalists, I just said, I have a question for you, ma'am. And just she said, who is this, Shona? And um, since then, I have had a different equation with her. And I remember and I want to um, say um, and speak about this incident. She had come to promote No One Kill Jessica. I was all of 19 and I was writing for a uh, newspaper in Calcutta. And when she got to know that I have been um, doing that for four years of my life for a newspaper which was run by school students and written by school students for school students, she made the entire press clap for me. And ever since then, my love for her has known no bounds. She's a fantastic artist. She's an even better human being. And that's the whole idea behind Rani Mukherjee. So without further ado, let me welcome Rani Ma'am on stage. Today we are here and um, I only want to tell you that I have so much, so much love for you and thank you for doing this for Galata India. Fan Fest in association with PVR Inox and this is the first episode and who better than Rani Mukherjee? How are you? I am great in the midst of all my fans. I couldn't be better. I have to tell Thank you. Thank you for doing this for me. You know that I would do anything for you and uh, you know this entire setup is basically not just an interview ma'am. It's my way of showing not just how much we love you, but how much India loves you. And I hope Thank you. <laughs> by the end of it, you genuinely feel that love and you go back home uh, smiling. That's oh, all. Thank you, Nadi. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But um, last year, there was this amazing movie that released. And um, I remember... Uh, I was interviewing her before uh, the movie release and I also interviewed her after the movie release. Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. What a brilliant film, guys. I think it was by far one of the best films to come out of the year. I have to tell you, so we were all watching this movie in a press show and you know because you met most of us post the release, we were all crying. And uh, mothers are possibly the strongest forces of nature, you know. Uh, to me, uh, my mom comes before God. It's that. And um, this scene is so difficult. It is very simple. You know, there was another thing, another similar scene in Mardani too, where you give that interview. And you say that, Barabari to bohat dur ki baat hai, hissedari mil jai, wohi bohat hai. And these are simple things. And there is so much emotion, there is so much pain, there is so much value to what you say. How do you manage to do that? How difficult was it for you to shoot this entire film where the mother was fighting for her kids who she possibly lost at one point? I think when we uh, choose to become mothers, I think we naturally get that fighting spirit, that strength. I think it's just given to us. 
by God because um, we go through a process of um, producing a child in ourselves, you know, in our being. And I think that's one of the most powerful things that a human being can do because we're actually creating a life. Mm -hmm. So I think the power that we women require is given to us by God any which ways, you know, to be able to create that life inside of us. And we don't know ourselves what we transform to become after we have the baby. You know, what we were as a young girl or as a young adult is completely different when we have a baby and we start to see another facet of ourselves after we give birth. You know, the way we interact with a child, the way we fight for our children, the way we become protective like, you know, a lioness for our children. So all this just automatically comes into our being and we suddenly, like most husbands will agree, they don't recognize their wives after they have children. <laughs> they become completely different to who they were even as a married woman, you know. And uh, that's when you understand the true power of a woman, you know. When we say janani, that's a very powerful word. You know, janani means a person who's creating, you know, a mother. So I think um, a child gives birth to a mother and when that mother is born, she becomes a very powerful being. And... Um, with each one of us, you know, everybody who's gone through the beautiful process of childbirth and bringing a child into this world, I think they will agree that um, we actually become really, really powerful. Absolutely. And you've always been that person. I feel like, you know, um, I remember this interview that we had done at YRF again. I'll mm. go back to moments and memories mm. because this show is all about that. I think Hitchki was releasing. And I remember in that interview, you said that, I don't know. I'm very stressed. I've never been so stressed. Uh, because we are often fed with the adage that um, women stop becoming desirable, um, stop being desirable after they are married, after they especially have a child. Um, uh, we are also told uh, by a lot of industry insiders, even a decade, or even 15 years ago, that women and heroines lose their touch when they get married and when they have a child. I think you have been an antithesis to all of that. And all of us will agree because you came back. And I remember the success meet of Hitchki. And that was so special because, ma'am, I feel that many actresses, they come back uh, to doing what they really loved doing with that expecting and wanting that response and you always got it for all your movies whether it's Mardani, Mardani 2, Hitchki and Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. How does that make you feel as an artist when the love that you get and when the work that you put in is validated by the love that you get? I think um, for that I have to just thank my audiences because if they hadn't accepted me the way I, I am today none of this would have been possible because I can do, I can work hard in my films, but at the end of the day, it's for them to watch me and for them to accept me. So I would say that my audiences have evolved and my audiences are accepting women um, after their marriage, after their children, because they are saying, we don't care about your personal life. We want to see what you're doing on screen. And I think that stays true for actors you know, which are the male actors. Their personal lives have never come in the way of their success or their uh, careers. So I think they are uh, doing the same for us today. So we, have, we only have to thank our audiences. Absolutely. Can we have a round of applause for you guys? <laughs> because it's true. We have a special message. When okay. we talk about the love, you know, uh, there's a special message from one of the person who has been behind the force, which is okay. called Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. Okay. As producers, we've made a lot of films with men and their achievements. However, in our filmography, the film that I'm personally most proud of is the one woman who stood up and made a difference. I'm talking about Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. And Rani, there could have been no one who could have been now Mrs. Chatterjee. Not just ours, but I think the world's today. Every mother's. Rani, you have really just uh, an unbelievable inspiration to us to want to tell stories like Mrs. Strategy versus Norway. But more than that, you've left us wanting for more. An actor with this kind of commitment, with this kind of dedication, I have never ever come across. I know this is something that will be your public domain and they're all going to see it because you work with so many other artists, but you are unapparelled in your 
dedication and you know, devotion, the speed at which you change sarees, my God, I have never seen somebody with this kind of commitment. Um, when you decided to essay this role, I can tell you, I was, I was one of the people who said, well, okay, it's not a film that we're making. By the end of the process, you turned us into fans. Fans, in fact, there's this thing that I see very often that, uh, you know, producers give up their kidneys for their uh, actors. I want to tell you, you stole our hearts. And that, my dear Ravi, is why you deserve to be celebrated today and always and forever. Thanks. Thank you, Manisha. That's so sweet coming from Manisha. She, she, she's a woman and he, she has spoken so lovely um, things about you that uh, there are so many times we actually celebrate male stories. Uh, but today we are in a stage where audiences want stories like this and um, the kind of love that you got, the awards are coming and I'm pretty sure that you're going to get all the awards because I think, let's be honest, it was the best performance by a female actor in 2023 and I'm Thank saying it. You. Thank and you. And I'm saying it. I want to ask you that, how do you take that? Like today, there was a time you said in an interview that it came at a very difficult juncture in your life and you have gone through a personal loss, you suffered a miscarriage and you spoke about it that that emotion also was something that prompted you to face it. But you were facing something like that again after healing. Did it become more emotionally drenching to do this film after that? No, I think, um, firstly, let's come to the awards thing. I would like to say that even when I didn't get awards, which are those actual statues, my awards were the love of my audiences. Whether it was Mardani, whether it was Hitchki, I didn't get any awards for those films. But my main award, I always say, is my audience who takes, who buys a ticket with their hard-earned money and they come to see my movie, that for me is truly special. So thank you guys for all the awards you'll have given me all through my career. So thank you. Because awards I personally feel is a token of appreciation given to you by colleagues yes. or by few people in the jury who decide maybe they liked your work more than somebody else's work. And also liking somebody's work is very objective. You know, somebody might like my work better, somebody might like somebody else's work better. But what stays with me forever is the love that the audiences give me with each film. And that nobody can take away from me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, to come to um, dealing with the trauma that I went through and shooting the film, I think there was a certain amount of strength that I got while playing Sagarika's character, Devika's character. Because uh, Devika... Uh, stands for a woman who stands for somebody who has the strength, the perseverance, the patience, the determination to not give up. And I think that character inspired me as a woman, you know, a woman who never gave up. Yes. So I think when I portrayed her, I was already inspired by her. I was already empowered with the way she never gave up and she won her children back. So that character gave me strength to be able to play the character back for everyone to see and derive strength from this character. Not many women have actually come and spoken about it. You've always fought that and you came out and spoke about um, losing your child and at that point um, where people didn't even know, people, nobody, none of us knew and none of us wouldn't even know what you went through, the kind of emotional trauma that one goes through. Only women would understand that. And um, people don't care but I think there was a point of time where you speak and then a lot of people felt that it is okay for them to come out and speak about the pain that they're going through. It's because it's a pain, right? How did you deal with that? Was it difficult at that point? Yeah, of course it is difficult because uh, I tried for a second baby for almost seven years. Now my daughter is eight years and immediately after she was one, one and a half, I tried for my second and I kept trying and I finally got pregnant and then I lost the baby. So obviously it was a, um, a very, very testing time for me. And also I'm not very young, though I look young. <laughs> You're the youngest in the room. <laughs> So this birthday, I'm going to turn 46, guys. So... <laughs> but 27 years yes. of actually just entertaining us and loving us. Yes, and also my, my basic thing is that the more I grow older, the more younger I should look. <laughs> Fab. Fab. <laughs> yes, I'm working very hard on that, my darling. <laughs> but each time I come in front of you all, you all think of me as Tina only. <laughs> But so yeah, so see, 
though i look so young outside but obviously i'm a, i'm going to be 46 years old so it's not an age where i can have another baby you see so um, so yeah so it it is traumatic for me that i can't give a sibling to my daughter you know and that really um pains me but then i feel that you know we have to be always grateful for what we have than what we don't and for me adira is my miracle child and i am really happy that i have her you know because when i look at parents who are struggling to have even that one baby you know so for me i feel that i have to be grateful for that be grateful for what you have now it is a saying that you know we might just say it but to actually work on it and to believe uh, the fact that you need to be grateful for what you have it takes a lot of courage you know that to just be content yeah. with whatever you have so i'm working on that and i'm telling myself that yes adhira is enough yes absolutely <laughs> and when when we when we speak about um, mrs chatterjee versus norway i have two very special videos um from mothers okay that's all uh it's my mother and uh, how nice. uh, my colleague rashita's mom oh, how and sweet. Uh, i think there are many mothers out here or would be mothers who were oh, inspired sweet. and i think men were inspired by the story which is brilliant and can we have a round of applause before we play that hello rani kemon acho bhalo acho mone hoy amake tumi chinte parcho na tomar sathe amar sathe अभिनय देखे मुग्ध हो गए सत्य बोझाते प्रथम कथा तुम्हेंगाली दुर्बलता तो चेष्टा कर कारण जिन सब समय रानी मुखर्जी हमारे बांगलार गर्वेड আম বাবা এসেছে আমি তোমায় এটা বলতে চাই যে আই মেড শিওর দ্যাট দে ওয়াচ দ্য মুভি ইন আ থিয়েটার এন্ড নেভার হ্যাজ ইট হ্যাপেন্ড দ্যাট মাই মাম হ্যাজ আই কলড হার আপ টু আস্ক এন্ড দিস ইজ জেনুইন আই কলড হার আপ টু আস্ক হাউ ইজ দ্য মুভি এন্ড শি সেড আই ক্যান্ট স্পিক টু ইউ রাইট নাও আই উইল স্পিক টু ইউ লেটার এন্ড দেন দ্য নেক্সট মর্নিং শি টোল্ড মি দ্যাট देयर वाज समथिंग ইন মি ওয়্যার আই কুড ফিল আ সেন্স অফ লস আই মেড মাই फादर वाच इट देन এন্ড উই ওয়াচ উই ওয়ার ওয়াচিং ইট টুগেদার বিফোর preparing all of this and we had the same reaction i think i think you are outstanding thank you noan and we have rashita's mom hello rani ji maine aapki bahut sari movies dekhi hain aur mujhe aapki performance usme bahut achhi lagi hai aur main matlab bahut mujhe aapki smile aur acting bahut achhi lagti hai main bahut badi fan hu aapki lekin recently maine ek abhi aapki movie dekhi mrs chatterjee versus norway jo matlab mere dil ko chhu gayi उसमें आपने मतलब बहुत अच्छा किरदार निभाया एक माँ का रोल किया है मैं भी एक माँ हूँ तो मुझे पता है मतलब मेरे भी तीन बच्चे हैं जो दो बच्चे मेरे बाहर रहते हैं उनसे दूर रहना कितना डिफिकल्ट है और आपने भी मतलब बहुत अच्छी उसमें किरदार निभाया है मतलब बहुत अच्छा मैंने उसको बहुत फील किया मैंने वो मूवी को तो मैं आगे भी यही चाहती हूँ आप अच्छी अच्छी मूवीज करती रहें ताकि हमें देखने का मौका मिले थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो स्वीट So um so are you the child who stays away from her? Yeah. Oh. Oh so you go and meet your mom? Of course. Nice. You know it's most painful for parents to have their children away from them. Right? So we'll segue into the next segment. It's a very specially curated segment for you. It's called Walk Down Memory Lane. You really worked very hard on this. Of course. <laughs> of course. Thank you. <laughs> This is the young Rani Mukherjee. I, I want to know that how were you as a child? I've never asked you this question. Why you're not? I have to ask this question to my mother. I'm the wrong person to ask. You should do an interview with my mother and ask her how I was. Then you'll know how I was. But how were you? I think I was very. I was a very good girl. I still am. But I was very like. I was very obedient. I used to always listen to my mom and my dad. I was quiet, reserved. Not like how I am today. <laughs> The next picture is one of the most special picture. Oh. 
that's my dad and my mom. So cute. My dad's looking like a South Indian star. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know this, but um, Rani Ma'am is extremely close to her parents. We've spoken about it post Hitchki. So um, I want to sp- I want to speak to you about that. That there was this interview that we did where you got really emotional because you said that you took that uh, chari lati uh, because uh, he had passed away by then and you were coming back and uh, you wanted a part of him while watching the movie. Uh, he was your biggest cheerleader. Parents are the biggest cheerleader, right? Yes. And your dad was, he was extremely loving towards you. Um, was it difficult for you to heal out of that phase? And whenever there's a release, because he's always been there to like push you, is it dif- does it become difficult to watch a movie without him? No, I think, I don't think I'll ever heal uh, from the fact that I've lost my dad. I think he'll be there with me the, till the day I die. Yeah. You know? And I think it's, like every day of my life, I miss him. Uh, there is not a day that has gone past that me and my mom have not spoken about. You know, if dad was there, this would be. Or if dad was there, he would have said this. Or if dad was there, this would have happened. Or dad would have said this watching the movie. Like even when Mrs. Chatterjee released, I, I would just think of what my dad would think after watching the film. So of course, it's very difficult to live your life without your parents. And especially children, we feel that our Parents uh, are, are like Hanuman, they'll stay forever. <laughs> yeah, I wish <laughs> but that it's, Yeah, but that's not the fact, right? Um, they all have to go one day. And it's very painful for a child to um, go through that phase, and especially children who've lost both their parents at a much younger age. I think it's traumatic for them. Yeah. And at any age your parents pass, you always feel that I wish he had or she had more years with us because it's never enough, you know. And also you lose an anchor. Uh, when you lose your father, you lose a kind of anchor in your life. And that's very, very difficult uh, to go through that phase. Um, like, even though I have my husband, but he'll never be able to take the place my father had in my life, you know. Though he's the, um, like, a male uh, counterpart, you know, in my life. But a father is a father, you know. And same with your mom. Yeah. You know, what you share with your mother, uh, the comfort or that, um, you know, Children can be, you know, unabashedly selfish when they are with their parents. They can be themselves. You know, you can take your parents for granted. They're the only people you can take for granted. There is no other relationship in the world that you can take for granted. You can't take your friends for granted. You can't take your child for granted. You can't take your husband or your spouse for granted. But your parents, yes. And they let you take them for granted. You know, that's the only relationship. So obviously it's tough, you know. And I don't think I'll ever get over it. But... uh, but yeah, I'll have to say that um, probably dad had a full life. And I'm happy that he met Adira. Uh, he saw Adira and he went. And uh, I think he went as a happy individual, you know, knowing that both his children are well settled and, you know, they have children and that's fine. So I think it's important to remember them with the happier times, you know, rather than remember the sad things. Did you did you carry anything of him during uh, Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway? I carried my mom and dad with me in my heart because it was a role of, um, you know, a Bengali woman. And um, today who I am as a person is all thanks to my parents, you know, because if my parents had not brought me up the way they brought me up, I wouldn't be this person. So I think um, whatever we are in our lives, it's all things that we've obviously observed of our parents. You know, they don't have to teach us to be who we are. We just grew up watching them. And those are the things that we imbibe from them, you know, consciously, subconsciously, we don't know. And a lot of times you'll see people saying that, you know what, I used to hate this about my mom, but I'm becoming my mom, (laughs) you know, or... I used to hate this thing about my father, but you know what? At this age, I'm becoming my dad. How is this even possible? So there are things which subconsciously, you know, just gets into your system so strongly that you start behaving like them at a later age of your life. So it's just amazing that how powerful their influence is on us from childhood. You know, and I am completely um, like a complete mixture of Ram and Krishna, my dad. And my mom. And now I have something very, very special from somebody who loves you a lot. Okay. Wanted to tell you that you're one of the most lovable and and the best sister anyone can have. I'm so blessed having you as my sister. 
all all the entire life till now we've always been there so supportive and uh, guiding me and correcting me about everything in life uh, loving us taking care of us like it's amazing you know so i just want to tell you and you are and also i want to tell you you're one of the best actresses in this industry not because you're my sister but i really feel that you are i, I hope you remember when you first did your film raja ki aayegi barat the way i used to laugh when you used to do your crying scenes but that time it was not because you not doing it well it was because i couldn't believe that i'm seeing my sister on screen doing those cranky scenes and all that and uh, the way i i also remember the way i used to go in every theater to watch every film of yours and you know get affected by few films which you know unfortunately used to not do well but few films which most of the films which did well i used to take all my friends again and again to every every part of the city to every different theater to watch it and whistle and love to see whistles from all over for you uh i remember our childhood days when i used to uh tease you and torture you and i used to love making you cry and you used to cry at the drop of your hat and how dad used to uh, guard you and uh, support you for everything and how mom used to support me and guide guard me for everything so you know i just wanted to tell you that uh, i love the way the i used to take away your eggs from your plate after i would finished mine and the way you used to cry and you know so on your birthday which is this month on the 21st i want to wish you a very 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 happy uh, happy birthday and wishing you a superb rocking year ahead and life ahead Mm. and uh, i really really love you adore you admire you i may not say this to you all the time or mention it to you but yes uh you are one of the most lovable persons in my life and uh, without you i feel uh, alone without you i feel that you know you are you are my younger sister but you are like an elder sister to me actually yeah uh i wish i was your younger brother that would be, that would have been much uh, easier for me to remove take out things from you <laughs> whatever it is said and done but i love you and we all in the family love you love you love you a lot this is dada bye so sweet he used to faint he used to faint if my movies would not do well he used to go to the theater and used to see no people in the theater and he used to faint <laughs> What is the age gap between? He's five years older than me. And did he did he bully you all through your childhood? No, actually he wasn't allowed to bully me. His dad was very strict, and he was like, you know, um, he never allowed Raja to even like raise his hand on me ever. It was not allowed. So Raja used to be always frustrated, you know, when <laughs> he used to be like, I want to hit you, but I can't because of dad. <laughs> and he was very scared of my father. He was very scared. um but uh, yeah so we like you know your sibling is uh, again one of the most important yeah. people in our lives because they've been with you right from your birth and they know you like nobody else knows you and we've uh, grown up and we've seen our hardships together we've lived that life and when he says that he is to take my eggs because uh, there's to be ration on how many eggs we used to eat right as kids um so he used to irritate me by uh, making my eggs disappear from my plate <laughs> but that's every sibling yeah. ever although i do it with my brother uh, never mind uh, uh, so on coffee with karan this year you know yeah. um there was a point where you spoke you came um, and it's the best episode guys uh rani mukherjee and kajol episode i think is the best episode on coffee with karan this year and it was so f- much fun it was so emotional it was so heartfelt there was a point where you spoke about how you bonded with uh, tanisha uh, post you know both your fathers passing away it was such a you said it's such a dichotomous situation because it was grief and that brought us closer so there's one sweet message from tanisha how oh, what do i say my dearest rani 
we have such an unusual relationship. Um, we were so close when we were kids. Now we were like, we were the youngest, right? With all the cousins and all the siblings. So whenever I came to my father's house, he would take me to Rani and Raja's house. And uh, we'd meet Rani and Raja, I think, more than we met anybody else. Because uh, we used to play on the beach. And literally every time I went to Rani's house, Raja and Kajal would be like this gang. And Rani and I were like kept separately. We weren't allowed on his secrets. We weren't allowed to play with them. We weren't allowed to do anything with them. So she and I kind of, by default, we just bonded so amazingly. It went on through university till she was an SNDT. And then I went off to Australia to study. And she became an actress. And actually when Rani was pregnant, I just felt that I cannot have her have a baby and that baby don't know me. Then babe, I really felt that. I felt that so strong, so deep within me. I felt that this is my sister as well. You know, this is my cousin. And she's going to have a baby. And you know, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like when you see another generation come in, I feel like फोन उठा के सिचल लाती हूँ जैसे वो अभी मैं मेरा जन्मदिन भूल गई थैंक यू आप आनी पी टी डब्ल्यू आई एम विश यू राइट नाउ ऑन योर बर्थडे हैवी बर्थडे माई गॉज आई विश यू All the joy, happiness, love, laughter that life can be filled with, always. And you know, it comes from the heart. I love you. So sweet. <laughs> you know, uh, even on that show when Karan actually spoke about the dynamic, they all he always mentioned previously also this time also that you were always the one who had so much love to give. Today. when the fi- family dynamics were different back then but today when the family has come together because you had so much love then and you always wanted it to be together do you feel happy yeah. absolutely because i think um, family is one thing that stays with you right so it's important that the world sees you as one you know and uh, differences happen everywhere but if there is no reason for differences then why should the differences happen So in this case it was exactly that there was no reason absolutely it just happened because of miscommunication absolutely and, and no they, communication and 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 we'll move on to the next slide this is uh, your first yes. film by the way guys her first film was a bengali film beer fool with uh, proshin jeet yeah <laughs> uh, but then again we have worked hard <laughs> enough uh, to play another video for you okay <laughs> ajay hey, namaskar रानी मुखर्जी बाबा बाप रे रानी दिस इज बुमबदा योर बूम यप ओके सो हाँ मान अमार आई बीन ऑलवेज अ बिग फैन ऑफ योर्स बट वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ आई थिंक लॉन्ग बैक एंड ऑफकोर्स टूडे आई आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू वॉन्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी वेन रानी वॉज अ के शी यूज टू थिंक दैट शी गो टू मैरी मी दिस इज प्रसन्न जी चैटर्जी and my mom used to show the uh, you know albums so uh, the album which were my dad's album basically they are married so my mom used to say when you will grow up your bumba will become buddha your all hair will be like gray or white so she used to say to my mom why you will put good rich wo laga lega so like rani had seen you growing but you are always been our favorite and you made us always a proud to jekhano kaaj karo whatever work you do wherever i am i do really watch it and uh, god bless it's a wonderful time and we all are proud of you god bless you thank you so much be here full footle bajbe be here bajna love you love you bye god bless sweet bumbada <laughs> bumbada and uh, so uh, before we move on to the fan bit okay i have to ask you this that after this you know there was a movie quickly we'll do this um kuch kuch hota hai was a film that uh, before that there were films where people didn't retain your voice 
कुछ कुछ होता है वॉज द फिल्म वे पीपल कारण एक्चुअली गेव योर वॉइस द आइडेंटिटी इट डिजर्व and then um, the rest is history everybody loves your voice and you will see something that we have prepared again where people will speak to you about it but i want to know that um did it matter to you in the beginning when they were not retaining your voice and how did how did you feel when karan did that to you no so actually raja ki aage barat had my voice i had dubbed for my own film beer food had my own voice uh, it was only in gulam i think um, they they decided to not go with my voice because it wasn't um, a a very normal sounding voice <laughs> i don't know how to put it it's uh, my voice and it's uh, different um but i think at that time it was just uh, the fact that they were uh, taking this big bet on taking a newcomer with amir khan who was already an established actor and they were going that's what uh, vikram ek- basically explained that they were going with just the chatter that was happening at the edit rooms yeah. that the ladki ki awaaz thodi alag hai and um, it was very common in those days to get actresses voice dubbed yeah you know because there were a lot of actresses who would come from the south uh, especially shri ji you know for many years of her life her voice was dubbed and she was one of my favorite actresses so i remember amir telling me that rani you know what your favorite actress is shri devi and her voice was dubbed in so many films so it doesn't matter you know we have to do what's best for our film and he was made to uh become the bad cop at that point of time to come and uh break this news to me um but it was actually a collective decision taken by uh all of them uh but i don't think that they put a very much thought into it that you know ki why they're doing it i think it was just a chat and they just wanted to play it safe when i went to dub for if you'll all remember they there was this um teaser for kuch kuch hota hai where i'm sitting on the swing you know there was one teaser that had come out and i went to dub it and karan asked me because obviously it's a small industry so you know the chatter goes from one to the other that acha rani mukherjee ki voice gulam mein dub ho rahi hai so obviously karan asked me that rani can't you dub so i'm like uh, of course i can dub so he said then why are they dubbing a voice in gulam i said i don't know maybe they don't like my voice so he said but i love your voice a uh, yule dub for my movie i said yeah <laughs> because he asked me like did you dub for your first film i said of course i dub for my first film so he said okay then you dub so i'm very glad that karan be karan took that call because if even in kuch kuch hota my voice would be dubbed then it would get very difficult to convince other people uh, to have my voice back so i think kuch kuch hota hai um uh, the decision that karan took actually helped me retain my voice in my other films otherwise it just becomes like a norm you know that people just start following blindly without even thinking yeah. about it yeah. so i'm glad but then uh, there was a film that aditya chopra was supposed to make with you which is called dulhan so we'll come to the picture that the only picture that we have of you and adi sir and uh, well um, it is is that picture that had come out uh, but i want to know that uh, dulhan that movie never happened never happened but you became his, his dulhan yes. dulhan yes and uh, it's a match he manifested it i think <laughs> It's a match made in heaven because both of Rab ne bana di jodi. Ha, exactly. <laughs> Rab ne bana di jodi because you both are exactly alike when it comes to social media, when it comes to like um being private people. Um what is it what is that quality which is the most endearing quality about him because to us he was just a phenomena till romantics happened we saw him um you know him in and out. What is that what is the most endearing quality about him as a husband and what is that one quality that you tolerate about each other? I think um he's a really good human being and I think for me that was the clincher because um you know I've grown up in a household with my parents and I've valued the kind of people that they were you know so in my life it's very important to have good people around uh because I need to respect people if they are good you know that's very important for me and i think what i saw in adi was a very very gracious human being very good person and a great leader for his team you know and he's very fair you know, not in terms of color but in terms of his morals and his judgments he's a very fair person um so i think these are the qualities which i think um, really make your characteristic you know um you might fall out of love or that initial attraction but what you'll never fall out of love is that respect that you have for one another as people 
and i think for me that is very important when i see any human being or if i have a friend or if i want to be close to someone i need to respect that person to be able to be close to because i've seen now the world very closely i've worked in this industry for so many years so if it it had to be an industry person it could not have been anybody but adi because he is the person who i truly truly respect um as a person so i think that is the one quality that i find and he's extremely a very simple human being and uh, now we are going to keep the floors open for something that you guys have been waiting for it's the fan segment we did a vox pop for you rani ma'am Hi Rani ma'am a very warm welcome to you welcome to Galata India Fan Fest we are very very excited to host you here and if so there's someone who's more excited than us then it has to be your favorite fans and today we are going to your fans and getting to know more about you what they like about you and what they adore the most so here we go What is that one thing you love about Rani Mukherjee? She gives like such a fun energy. She's like really good smile. The way she's maintained and she's still working. Her eyes. जो हँसती बहुत प्यारी लगती है. The way she carries herself. Okay. It's very pretty. Her smile, her style. She's known for acting, so we love her acting. Favorite heroine is Mary. उनका acting सबसे best लगता है मेरे को. उनकी smile बहुत अच्छी है. वो दिखती बहुत अच्छी है. उनकी smile बहुत प्यारी लगती है. I find her very elegant. Her smile and her voice. Her voice. I love her voice. So intimidating. There's something in it which is just makes her different from the other. One movie that you love of hers. Oh, uh, Tara Rampam is one of my most favorite movies. I watched till date. It's my most favorite Bollywood movie ever. It has to be kuch kuch hota hai. Thoda pyar, thoda magic. Kuch kuch hota hai. For me, it would be definitely Tara Rampam. कुछ होता है रिसेंट वन इज मिसेस चैटर्जी वर्सेस नॉर्वे मिसेस चैटर्जी वर्सेस नॉर्वे या दे रियली वर्क्ड फॉर द कॉज एंड इट वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडियंस एंड अदर पीपल हु मूव्ड टू नॉर्वे सबसे अच्छी तो उनकी बॉबी देवल की फिल्म लगी थी बादल गुलाम एंड um, कुछ कुछ होता है गुलाम या बट कुछ कुछ होता है वो वेरी कुछ कुछ होता है हद कर दी आपने वो बहुत कॉमेडी तो वो बहुत प्यारी लगती है मुझे आई वाज रियली अटैच टू हर मूवी हिच की कुछ कुछ होता है She was very cute in that, and she is a good artist. Chori chori chupke chupke. Favorite movie? Hitchki. Because I wanted to be a teacher, so I really loved her portrayal of a teacher who makes an impact. Because I have been one of those students, one of the backbenchers. One song of hers that you know has just stayed with you. Kuch kuch hota ka wo gana tha na? Koi mil gaya. Koi mil gaya. Amitabh Bachchan with Rani Mukherjee in Shawa Shawa. That was just magnificent. तेरी चुनरिया दिल ले गई एक क्या बोलती तू खंडाला सॉन्ग आई थिंक आई रियली एंजॉयड शावा 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 या वन को एक्टर ऑफ हर्स यू लव्ड वाचिंग हर विद शाहरुख खान शाहरुख खान सलमान सलमान खान प्रीति कृष्ण टेफली खान शाहरुख खान सलमान खान शाहरुख 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 खान या शाहरुख खान हाउ मेनी फॉर शाहरुख खान या I guess with Saif and Shahrukh only, that's the best pair. Of course, कुछ कुछ होता है has been my favorite. I can still watch it hundred times. और आज अगर किसी के साथ देखना चाहेंगे तो it can again be Shahrukh Khan, but I would have loved to see her with the, any of the good actors. Riti Kroshan. I think Varun Dhawan, Ranveer, maybe Siddharth Malhotra. वो भी सलमान का है. सलमान. Ranveer Singh. I think with Ranveer. Ranveer Singh. Okay. I would just love to see her with Shahrukh. <laughs> ever. <laughs> and uh, right you. from kuch kuch hota hai to i mean everything and uh, trust me on that the first time i watched you on television it was like uh, we are bengalis we are probashi bengalis from delhi so my father got that uh, uh, back in the day he used to have uh, that vcrs 
so right. he got beer full uh, uh-huh. and uh, you know uh, we watched that title rani mukaji and uh, we were like i i asked my dad i was very small then i was like who is she and uh, he's like she is a newcomer and that and from that day to mrs chatterjee versus norway each and every movie of yours we all watched it together as a family How and sweet. trust Thank me you. mrs chatterjee we watched three times there is a pvr right beside our house in dwarka delhi and three times my mother is like ya yeah, ab ab nahi dekhna <laughs> netflix mein every <laughs> she is like ki wo wala scene when you are like running yes. and that car wala scene it's it hit her a lot and it's yeah. like amazing movie and thank you and uh, so yeah so my question to you i i am coming it to a little later it's like my dream come true i my crush my teenage crush and seeing you in front of me i just remember the one time in your uh, interviews you just said the first time you saw amir khan in uh, like he has been your crush since he was cutie yeah. so you remember not, not anymore yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah that was when i was a teenager only. yes 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 <laughs> So that kind of feeling today I'm having seeing you in front of me live in front of no, me. No, I am actually so, very yeah. happy that I'm still your crush. Yeah. Because you are you the are. The crushes you we are. have in our teenage years then we grow up and we evolve and we're like nahi. <laughs> <laughs> no no you still are and you will Thank forever you. remain the same and uh, my question comes from a very different I mean like one of your most most favorite movies to me is kuch kuch hota hai of course. टीना आई मीन अमेजिंग वी ग्रो अप एंड वी थॉट कि चलो कॉलेज में ऐसी बंदी मिल जाएगी बट बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वो कॉलेज लाइफ में ऐसी बंदी मिली नहीं थी एनी वे सो या माई क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम कैंक आई मीन दैट वॉज अ वे हेड ऑफ इट्स टाइम द मूवी वॉज हेड ऑफ इट्स टाइम आई सीरियसली लव दैट मूवी स्पेशली योर कैरेक्टर बिकॉज द मोर वी इवॉल्व विथ टाइम वी अंडरस्टूड दैट हाउ यू नो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट you have to at least stay into a marriage just to for the sake of it yes so i just want to know if karan uh, comes back to you with the sequel of kang are you going to do it of course 100% because <laughs> kang is actually one of my favorite films because um, when we did kang mm-hmm. and of course when karan came with the subject mm-hmm. it was um, very very polarizing you see correct and it you know it required a lot of courage from my end to be able to play a role like that because at that time india wasn't are uh, very open to roles like that and especially with women because they looked at women with just one kind of glass you know very okay. very judgmental about the fact that a woman has to uh, be in a marriage just because the man is really nice or uh, nobody thought about what a woman wants correct like today there is so much of chatter about what a woman wants and what's important for her and what is her want but that time it was about everything was about the man from a man's point of view are uska pati itna acha hai to wo kyu chhod ke gayi right you know right. he's so loving towards her right. why is she wanting to not be in this marriage right. but nobody thought from a point of view of that a woman where and when are we going to ask her the question that does she love the man is she attracted to a man correct you know and those are the things which are very poignant and important and kabhi alvida na kehna and i have always wanted to portray women and show them in the best and strongest avatar of them you know so that they derive inspiration from it there are many women who don't open up in their marriages for a long time and the years pass and they become old and they're like why don't we be honest to ourselves you know but that but it's too late for that so as a young girl at that point of time when i did kang it also helped me to take a decision for my marriage you know that i need to marry for the right reason because if you marry for the wrong reason you will end up being with a person and suffer all your life correct you know Absolutely. so you need to marry a person who you genuinely love for the reason that you love the person and not anything else and that's only the reason why a marriage will sustain because you know your attraction can go everything else can go but if you have love for the person you're willing to compromise you're willing to work hard in your to make your relationship work but if you don't love your partner everything will feel like it's a big burden correct you know and everything will feel like a compromise but if you love the person you'll want to work hard to make your relationship work so yes it was an eye opener for a lot of young girls eye opener for men and eye opener for a lot of people who were in marriages you know and a lot of marriages broke after that in fact correct because they went to the theater and they were extremely uncomfortable watching the film because they're watching their life you know and it's not easy to you know watch a film which is actually depicting their own lives you know so i feel 
today i'm very happy that you know we've come to a point where we can talk openly about it without anybody having to judge you know but that time poor karan had to go through a lot yeah. you know a lot of that why did he make a film like that and i think oh, it's yes and i think it's one of his best films yes, you know yes absolutely quite mature enough thank you so thank much you, thank you joydeep hi uh, i am a huge fan of yours i have seen you in my childhood and i've loved it actually i'm I just very glad that you'll have got young and you'll still love me <laughs> <laughs> So I'm an artist and actually I've made a sketch of you can I give it to you Of course Of course please oh, That's lovely beautiful lovely work shading Give it to me Oh wow. thank you Thank you Is it for me Yes ma'am Okay thank you My name is Vinay and I'm a huge fan of Rani Mukherjee since my 90s I watched all my movies with my sister Rani oh, Mukherjee's sweet. movie and we have danced on up to four hour for like <laughs> hell we both are fully crazy and uh, i just love your pairing with saif ali khan i really love that just wanted to ask you two questions one is like if you play so much beautiful roles and you adopt so many characters in yourself if someone has to play your role in any of your biopic who would be the lead actresses from current generation no one <laughs> <laughs> को कहाँ पे हम लोग वॉट वॉट डू वी प्ले इन दैट दैट देर वी व कॉलेज गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज अभी क्या करेंगे प्रोफेसर आपका नाम क्या है कुछ कुछ होता है पार्ट टू में कैसे हम लोग लेके आएंगे रानी मुखर्जी को प्लीज एक बताइए छोटी अंजलि बड़ी सारे तो है हाँ अंजलि कैन ग्रो अप टू लुक लाइक यू ट्विन बंगाली गपशप आडा सेशन ओके वेरी टू कॉल दिस आडा सेशन यार जस्ट नेम इट आडा सेशन सिंस इट योर फर्स्ट सेगमेंट वी कैन कॉल आडा आडा सेशन है ना आडा सेशन ओकेट इट दिस फर्स्ट एपिसोड गाइज क्वेश्चन इज वेरी बोरिंग Just make it Adda session. Adda. Yeah. Hi Rani, I'm Hi. Ansa. Finally a girl gets a mic. <laughs> I'm Ansa and I must tell you that you're looking gorgeous and I can't take my eyes off so you. So sweet, thank you. So my question to you is as you are aware that uh, there are many films that are being re-released lately and you've done so many iconic films and if one film has to get re-released uh, which one would that be? Black. Yeah. We would love to watch that. And Bunty Bubbly. Bunty Bubbly to Black and Bunty Bubbly. I personally love Hitchki for sure. Okay, so let's release, re-release Hitchki. <laughs> Chalo. Can I tell Actually, you? Actually, let's release all the movies. Do you know this? Uh, I don't think uh, anybody's told you, but there are two shows of Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. Where? As we speak. Where? Yeah, I just saw it on Book My Show today. Really? Today it's there. It's there. Wow. It's there. Oh, nice. See? Me? I think there are many. You should just do a Rani Mukherjee festival. There'll be a lot. Okay. Mardani, I want Mardani three. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, now, now. Okay, now. Jaldi, jaldi. No, and okay. Ha. Uh, hello, uh, Rani, ma'am. Hi. I'm a huge fan of yours, and Thank you. and I recently loved your last release, Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. And my question to you is, ma'am, ki what challenges did you face while portraying a character, and how did you prepared for it? so how did i prepare for it i think um, i in fact found inspiration in debika's character because i found her very similar to my mom you know because my mom got married to my father and she came to bombay uh, 50 years back uh, and she was a girl from kolkata she would not know how to speak english you know and she came here got married to my father in a film family and my father literally sent her to learn english she uh, she had english classes where she learned how to speak english um and then she like the way my mother is very naive very simple um very um, all all heart a bengali tigress towards the children uh, very very protective so i think when i read debika's character on paper i thought i should um be able to portray her like my mom because i found a lot of my mom in debika's character so that was my preparation 
of um, giving glimpses of my mother in that role because that's the only Bengali woman who I know um, very closely who's from Calcutta. Hi, so actually I've watched your film Tara Ram Pom hundreds of times and I still watch it with my childhood friends. And so my question to you is that you have worked in several female centric films like from Mardani and Norway Chatterjee. In the future, would you like to do similar films or would you be doing similar films in the future? So, you know, for me, uh, choosing a film is very instinctive. So it depends on the story that comes to me, something that excites me as an artist and also as a girl or as a woman. Something that I'm saying something or I'm being able to uh, talk about something that will inspire women around the world. So it's a mix of all of that. Uh, my next movie could be something which has maybe songs and dances. Who knows? You know? But it has to be something that touches my heart, something that I believe in, and something that I know will also be liked by all of you. Thank Be you so much. Before we take the next question, when we've spoken of songs and dances, you know there's one song, Agabai Halla Machai Re. And there is a special surprise for you when we speak about Agabai. It also has somebody who has been so close to you. And let's play that video for her. If I have to go back to the past, let me start the story with uh, Bunty Bubbly uh, in the year, I think, 2003, 2004 is when I think I may have met her. So this has been a very long standing relationship. Before that, I think she was rehearsing. Uh, I briefly met her during her black film shoot days and I had known of her. Of course, I had not known of her, known of her. Like I had not met her. I mean, I had not been... I was not introduced to her, but I knew of her and she knew of me. And we looked at each other very strangely. We were like, you know, checking each other out like, huh, okay. And being exchanging pleasantries. We were just saying like, yes, hello, hello. Very formal and sweet. And we've then obviously we moved on. I was supposed to also do one song in Satya, but that didn't work out. So we missed an opportunity then. She was also, I guess, meant to do Lagan at that point of time and Ori Chori was my song and I missed the opportunity of having her in that frame also. So we missed out on that as well. But like what, who you're meant to meet and who you're meant to be with and who you're meant to flock with, uh, you always find uh, your tribe. And uh, Rani and me worked together in Bunty Bubbly, the original, the, oh, the first Bunty Bubbly. And she was a complete uh, surprise to me because she was very unlike other actresses who I had worked around then at that point of time. She didn't have any airs. She didn't have any, uh, uh, you know, that carrying the, uh, the head on the shoulder that she carried for herself was a very normal head in the sense like she was very down to earth. She was very humble. She was sweet. She was a bit cacophonic, like for me, like when she spoke like, Hey, like, chai la, are kya hai chai mein? Like she would speak to a spot boy, she would speak to a light person, she would speak to a crew member with equal dignity and equal respect and equal love. Like, so she came with a lot of bustling love energy. Like Rani is all about, uh, not, uh, she's a, but a bhandara of love. She's like a, she's a big, huge, uh, solar system of love. Like I remember we were at a time, she was at a time when she was also, uh, she was going to get married. And this exotic erotic song that I did with her called Agabai Aya Mach, uh, from the film Aya, Agabai Halla Machayare. And uh, it was very sensuous. And you know, she also did, did Dreamam Dekapam in that film. And <laughs> We had, both of us created that body of work. Like I had to shoot these kind of mad songs with uh, her in this film. And we had a ball. Honestly, I've had such a great time doing the Lavni, doing Dreamam Bekapam and doing even Agabai Halla Machai Re. Like we just had a blast. Both of us on a set, we are a riot. We are off set also, we are a riot. I think we are friends for a reason. She fights it. Like she's literally a fighter. She's that mother instinct, you know, a mother who fight for a child. So whether it is Adira who she fights for each day of her life to keep her uh, well, or whether she's a friend 
to me and to so many others where she'll fight for her friendship also she fights for everything she's a she's a tough one you know rani is literally jhansi ki rani hamari jhansi ki rani we need to uh, uh, celebrate her revere her not just as a talent not just as a mother not just as an actress not just as a superstar not just as a dear daughter that she is to her family uh, dear sister to her family dear friend to all her friends uh, dear mother to my darling my godchild adira and the dearest and the one of the most amazing wife anybody could have to mr aditya chopra i think she's all encompassing she's all woman energy she's the shakti she's the prana she's she's the life force and she's all our life forces and that's all i can say rani i love you she's my best friend yeah so she will say such nice things of course uh before we leave before we go uh, there was one person who i had promised because they had said that i have poetry i want to recite a few lines i don't know where uh, i oh here she is what's your name come thank you nan i mom i'm a huge fan actually i have i know a person who is a bigger fan of yours and that's my mom oh. and yeah i was too young i probably wasn't even born when you started your career my mom loves your film and that we have not spoken about that's nayak oh yeah my mom says that <clears throat> rani mom has played a lot of characters but that is something you know very say masti badmashi that's she loves that and so she inspired me to write this and i have written this to you in the realm of bollywood is bollywood's radiant glow a star emerged with talent to show rani mukherjee a name we revor her brilliance shines crystal clear in cinematic realms she wails tales with grace and prose her art prevails in hindi's embrace her work does sing a melody of emotions like a sacred spring from kuch kuch hota hai to black's profound her performances a treasure trove found a versatile gem in the industry's in the industry's embrace Rani Mukherjee with every role leaves a trace in Mardani a fierce crusader she became a symbol of strength lighting up the flame her eyes a reflection of passion unfold in every frame a saga unfolds a queen on screen in real life too her charisma a force forever true in the tapestry of cinema she is a vibrant thread Rani Mukherjee where brilliance is spread So here's to her craft her aura divine a bollywood's icon forever to shine in the canvas of cinema she is an art refined rani mukherjee a star forever in shine oh how sweet thank you thank i have you. never like i have never trembled and like shaken like this thank you man <laughs> i needed that thank you my darling what's your name ma'am my name is deshna hi can thank i get you. a hug of course please she gives the best hug I'm having it now. <laughs> you will understand. Thank you. Before uh, we give our vote of thanks, there's a way that I want to thank you. You said you love artists, and I knew that. So I've got something custom made for you. It is a life-size Rani Mukherjee. It's, it's my friend Prasad Bhat. He's a graphic artist. He has made it for you, and I had to give it to you. थैंक यू सो मच मैं कैलकाटा से आया था मुझे किसी ने गलत नहीं बोला मुझे किसी ने कभी टोका नहीं क्योंकि दे न्यू दैट दे कांट बट दे हैव ऑलवेज शेम्ड माय मम एंड माय फादर फॉर लेटिंग मी चूज माय करियर द वे आई वांटेड फॉर लेटिंग मी बी एंड फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग मी द वे दे ऑलवेज हैव एंड देन दे वॉज रानी मुखर्जी हु एक्सेप्टेड मी एंड यू मेड मी योर ओन and um, i mean shopshoma boliata they you will occupy one of the largest pieces of my heart um because you really cared for me when nobody else did so thank you so much for doing this holidays 
South India's number one travel brand. Govi, a vernacular edutech brand, skilling everyone everywhere.